Hey everyone, it's Ryan Gray here with RevMax.com. Today I want to demonstrate how you take a tracking link out of our platform and then how you insert it into your iMobi tracks so you can start running traffic to it and successfully track everything. Okay, the first thing is, is right now I'm inside of the RevMax.com network interface um, and this is an offer that I've been approved on. You won't view these tabs until you've been approved to run it. So this offer here is um, Mix Secure for Portugal. So we're gonna click the tracking link and you can see that I've already generated my tracking URL. And what we need to do is we just need to add a sub ID. So um, what we're going to do here is we're going to, you can enter up to five. So we're just going to put sub ID goes here. And this is for reference. Okay, so we're going to keep it right here. Now we're going to head over to Mobi Tracks and create the campaign. So this is my Mobi Tracks I've got set up. And I'm going to navigate to add a new campaign. And then I'm going to go ahead and set this up. Now I like to, when I'm setting up a campaign and I'm Obi Tracks, if this is going to be a direct link, I normally just call it what I have it ID'd in the RevMax system as. This way I can just keep um, keep track of it. Um, you can give it a group or a traffic source and all that stuff, but just for this example, I'm going to show you just how to insert the links. Um, so I'm not going to worry about entering all this information. So this is going to be a direct link. I'll scroll down here, and as you can see, if we wanted to add some um, refer blocking, um, I kind of always recommend to throw the double meter refresh in, um, if, especially because it just clears out um, your referring URLs. So I, I kind of recommend that you do that. And so we'll go down here. And if this traffic source had tokens, which most all do, um, we would add them in here or we would set them up in the traffic source section. Um, so that's what tokens are, and I'll explain that at a later date, how to set all that up. But if you've already set this up in the traffic sor source section, then these would be pre-populated. But again, for this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and set my link up. Okay, so let's, um, I'm gonna call this just the same offer. Now I'll go back over to here, and I will grab this link. Okay, let's go back into our Mobi tracks. And we will paste it. Now, here's the here's the important part about doing this setup. First, we want to remove our sub ID goes here text placeholder that we made, and we have two options. One, we can leave it default. The sub ID section here and says add sub ID to the end of the URL. Well, we can leave this blank here, and as long as it says sub ID one equals, then it's going to automatically append to the URL. It's going to be added to the end of this um, URL. Now, if we wanted to manually do it, we could click this here to set sub ID and click data manually. And then we would have to insert this little token right here for sub ID. So it's either way you want to do it. You can leave it default and you can leave this blank. You just have to remember that this should, you have to have sub ID one equals. Okay. So either way, it's just personal preference, um, whichever way is the, the easiest for you. But it's, um, and that's pretty straightforward. Um, you can go back here and we can see this pays an 860 CPA. So we would just add this in here um, is 860. And since this is just one offer, we're just putting one offer in here. We're going to um, hit the split button to give it 100% of the weight. And then we're going to create the campaign. Okay, the campaign has been created. So now we're going to scroll down and we're going to have our campaign link. This is the link that we're going to put in our traffic source. If we want to test it, we can click right here. The cool thing about the test link is it's not going to count the click. So your stats aren't skewed from you sitting there testing it. And, you know, maybe you want to test it on your phone. You just copy and paste the test link to your devices. Um, the next thing that we need to do is we need to set our server to server post back inside of the RevMax account. And I've got a video out there just showing that. But let me show you um, right quick just on this campaign how we would go do this. So what we do is we would just copy this and we would go into our RevMax account. Now we can set our callbacks here. As you can see on the offer, we've got our global callback that I've already set up on the account level. Now, if I wanted to add one just for this offer, for this iMobi tracks, I would put it in here. And you can see I've got to enter my network macro. So this is going to be that value, that sub ID one. So we're just going to insert this right here. And it's as simple as that. And now if we wanted to post back the amount, to a Mobi track, so we don't have to update that. We could just add this as well. And we would just click update. Offer callbacks have been updated and we're all set. So it's it's really that simple to um, to get it um, set up. The, the biggest thing that you have to remember is that you wanna make sure that your sub ID is set correctly here. 
And once that's set correctly here, then everything else will track and flow seamlessly. Um, then once again, the network macro goes here. And as long as, as this is set, then you shouldn't have a problem in setting this one up right here. So if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out and let us know. We'd be more than happy to help you out, but we look forward to um, getting you all running. Thanks so much.